Anyway, no, um, I was going to say, like, I do think it was the best job he could have done for, you know, the first year, the first full year of their console being out. Like, you don't really get a lot of stuff in the, yeah. when they, in the first year. You know, you got to wait a few years until the real oh, big oh, hitters oh, come oh. out. Yeah, apart from most of it, it was it was a really good showing, and they didn't show much connect. And yeah, thank goodness no, it was literally like flipping. No connect. Yeah, no connect. Wait, were you actually watching it, Zach? Zach, hold on. Zach, hold on. All right, okay, hello. Yes. Were you actually why watching it? it? Why? Why were you not watching it with us on here? Yeah. Shame on you. I I was already doing it with Jill on the computer. Who? I was already there on the computer. Because I was already there. It, it, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't need two. It didn't need two screens on at the same time. I did two thing. screens on at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I did two screens on. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. So. I'm, I'm not big of a nice boy, fanboy. Scale wars or whatever the fuck that was. I don't know, but it looks quite I interesting. I'm look, I'm, it's made by Platinum Games, so for me, it's instant buy. Yeah. <laughs> Spot the fanboy. <laughs> it was it's me, but that company was an instant buy. And, 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 until Platinum Games for me releases a bad game. What game? Do, or what other games have Platinum Games released? Platinum Games did Vanquish, Bayonetta, Bay Doom, Bayonetta 2. They had a hand in the combat for Mega Solid Rise of Revengeance. They had a help. They helped out in the combat for Devil May Cry. And mm. they did. And they did the wonderful 101 on the uh, Wii U. Yes, it's all right. It looks like it looks like Monster Hunter, but you get your own dragon. Yes. <laughs> I want to fight. I want to fight that Hydra. Fuck yeah. I want to fight all that. All <laughs> that. The weird thing first, is just like. First, like, tell me, the first thing, first time you saw saw the guy with the, like like the um head the headphones, as soon as you saw his head and saw you thought Dante, didn't you? No, because, I thought that was a chicken. I thought that was a chick at first. What? Yeah, no, 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 not even we didn't. Okay, we not even okay, we okay. thought it was chicks. One, I wasn't at, I wasn't sitting at the computer, I was sitting on the bed, away from the computer, watching it. And two, it was blonde ass short hair, I thought it was just a punky chick. I just keep blonde, I just saw I actually, white. I just saw white I, hair. Yeah, I thought it was white. a very... <laughs> very, 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 very light blonde. <laughs> I'm sitting away from the computer, on the bed. <laughs> Therefore, Zach gets colorblind Wait, when he's far away from anyway, stuff. Anyway, one of the main things. As we, yes. as I said to Pete, Halo 2 on the Xbox One. Oh, get hype. Dude, um, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna buy the Master, I'm gonna buy that Master Chief Edition. I'm not buying Halo 5, I'll buy the Master Chief Edition, because I want fucking Halo 2. The thing is, then you'll play, then you'll play the beta when it comes to access, and you're like, hmm, I might actually yeah, buy I'll, Halo I'll play the beta. Yeah, I'll play, yeah, I'll play the beta, but I'm not gonna play, I'm not gonna buy Halo 5. Like, Dude, so I think that might actually be, if you can believe it, I think that might actually be a console seller. That here, that Master Chief, even yeah, though it's yeah. even though it's got no new games in it, I think I think people will buy an Xbox One just to play the Master Chief Collection. Honestly. Yeah. Oh shit! Really? Nice. I do. I, I still think that's pretty humorous. How a console seller isn't even gonna be any new oh, well, game. Oh yeah, because they have them still fucking fixed. Yeah. What? <laughs> talking, talking to Jill. He's on Skype and he's talking to me. For no, say, we'll tell you, tell you to get away. Cause these niggas are getting confused. <laughs> uh, what about inside? It's like, what do you think about inside, aka Limbo Two? Oh god, that looks fucking amazing. Oh, and another thing. Never... What do you think about how do you feel about Cthulhu in Evolve? Oh yeah, that's what I, was, that's what I was like, holy shit, it's Cthulhu. <laughs> that's what I, swear, I was like. I mean, Jill said it first, thing? but I was thinking it. I was it when I saw it, and I was like, that thing looks like Cthulhu. And then Jill said it, and I was like, yeah, there it yeah, is. it's Cthulhu. There's a lot of games for us to play. Yeah, there is. Uh, the, thing is that, the thing is that Jill just saw that press conference, and he had no intention of ever getting an Xbox One. Now he saw that, and he's just like, I think I might get an Xbox One. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm from wanting an Xbox One after seeing that. And to be honest. I'm not seeing Sunset Overdrive. I, yo, that trailer, that fake trailer was so good. <laughs> but then you seen, you seen the marine sitting there getting shot by terrorists, and all of a sudden the fucking door gets kicked down. Oh, that was legal. Don't end the sentence off the I. Yeah, I. Uh, 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 look good for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do you think they're very smart in not closing it out with. Uh. 
Halo 5 or Call of Duty, and they just close off the general gameplay trailer. They, they were most, really, they were yeah. really small. Yeah, because most people were getting so sick of every single press conference ending with flipping, Hey, look, it's advanced warfare. Look at the flipping lasers and the shields uh, and car doors. Dude, yeah, figure that one out. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Does anybody else ask... Okay, so in advanced warfare, the guy was able to kick down the door with that exoskeleton that all the, you know, marines and the soldiers were outfitted with. Yes. But they couldn't open. But they couldn't open up that door to save that one guy whose arm was trapped. But then, just not three seconds later, the black dude like ripped your arm off. No, your arm was already off. Yeah, already arm was already cut off. Oh. It was. It was a flipping big. It was the big thing. You know, I like. You don't see the big seven blade coming down off the blown up head. Yeah, it cut oh. your arm off. Well, why? Why the fuck? Well, he was a. <laughs> what I mean, the black guy ripped your arm off. How fucking barbaric is that? <laughs> like, I just gotta rip your arm off. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Jeez, alright, well, yeah, so. It would definitely be an 18 if you had people ripping your arms off. I don't, I don't know. I gotta rewatch that video, and it's just like, dude, he hadn't. I am very surprised that they only showed like two seconds of Kevin Spacey. Because the only issue with Kevin Spacey was like two seconds in the trailer and that was it. I don't either. I'm going to have to rewatch that video. Yeah. What else is going on? Uh... I, I know the game looks fucking good. Yeah. That's a good yeah. How did it look good? Pete's with me on this one. Pete's on me with this one, isn't he? What? That Call of Duty looks good. It looked alright. I suppose it wasn't like right? fantastic. The, no, no. I mean, it, 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 I, I, I didn't. Alright, right, it's a stretch from good. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I wasn't like, oh my goodness, this is brilliant. I was just kind of like, no, it's Call of Duty. I'm like, this like, yeah, no, it, it looks. I guess I'm kind of impressed with some of the new stuff they've introduced. They've been just a lot. They've introduced just a lot more new stuff. Yeah, but I mean, that's to be expected. To, like, they to, yeah, they have, have to. to. That's the problem. The I'm not that impressed because I mean, if they didn't, I would, I would just be like, well, that's it. You know, Call of Duty's dead. But I mean, at least they're on. At least they're on like life support, and it's looking that they're actually gonna make a recovery is you know ish. It does be interesting to see what happens after this. You know, are they going to continue to add stuff, or is this going to be the new Call of Duty, so to speak? I don't know. Probably. Because I mean, Ghost took place in the. What? It's not being made by Treyarch or or Infinity Ward. This is Sledgehammer. Yeah. So I mean, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how they handle it anyway. Sledgehammer had, they did the multiplayer for um, Modern Warfare 3, what Infinity Ward did everything else. Yeah. Oh, that was no, I never played the fucking thing. <laughs> what was that? So, what have you guys been doing? Just, oh, wait, is there any more press conference today, or is that just. Uh, uh the PlayStation 3 one's a lot later on. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, sorry. I'm not really interested in that one. I can catch the one online if need be, or just catch the highlights. But yeah. Like, oh yeah, because don't Nintendo yeah they tomorrow. don't they always release the highlights on YouTube. Yeah. Wait, what's the third day then? Isn't it three days? I don't know what the third day is. Third yeah, third day is probably like all the different uh like all the you know gaming company yeah. press conferences yeah. like Ubisoft, no, probably, EA, probably, all that good stuff. That's probably where they'll showcase like more gameplay stuff for Destiny, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Yeah, because I know, I know I gotta go to you gotta go to you gotta go to uh. PlayStation's getting the more uh, Destiny stuff. Yeah, that's what explains so why we didn't see much, most, much of it on here. Yeah, I was very surprised by that. I thought they were going. I thought they like that was how they were going to close it off or something. Yeah, because we showed Destiny last year. Yeah, but I thought they were going to like go nuts this year. We're like, you know, loads yeah. of stuff. 